In this question, we have 1.34 litres of a 2.70 M solution. So that's our volume and our molarity of our solution. It is then diluted by adding water until the final molarity is 1.91 M. Okay, so let's start by filling out our known values in our work table here. M is our molarity, V is our volume, and the one refers to initially at the beginning before it's diluted, and the two refers to at the end after it's diluted. So at the beginning, we have 1.34 liters. That's our initial volume. You can fill that in here. And at the beginning, we have 2.70 M. That's our initial molarity. Then the solution is diluted. And our final molarity is 1.91 M. So we can fill that in here. So we, our unknown variable is V2, the final volume. That's what we're trying to find. So let's head to our reference sheet and look for our dilution equation. Here it is. M1 multiplied by V1 equals M2 multiplied by V2. So let's write that down. We've got M1 multiplied by V1 is equal to M2 multiplied by V2. And before we actually do our calculation, let's just think about what this means. This means the molarity times the volume at the beginning is the same as the molarity times the volume at the end. So what's that telling us is that if our molarity is to increase, our volume is going to have to decrease so that when we multiply them together, we still get the same value. On the other hand, if our molarity were to decrease, that would mean our volume would have to increase so that when we multiply them together, we still get the same value. So whatever our change in molarity is, we expect our change in volume to be in the opposite direction. They're inversely proportional to each other. So in this question, since our molarity decreases, we're expecting our volume to increase. And that makes sense based on the question because it says it's diluted by adding water. So we know our volume must be greater. Okay, we're trying to find V2. In our equation, V2 is currently multiplied by M2. So let's divide by M2 on both sides. The M2s are gonna cancel on the right, leaving us with our equation V2 equals M1 times V1 over M2. Then we can put in our numbers to that equation. So M1, our initial molarity was 2.7. V1, our initial volume was 1.34, divided by M2, our final molarity, which was 1.91. And if we put all that into our calculator, we're gonna get out a final volume of 1.89 liters. So let's check that in our answer box here. Awesome, so we can fill that in for our final answer as well. So in this equation, we're gonna be given three known variables and we'll have one unknown. We're using our dilution equation. We need to rearrange it for whichever variable we're trying to find and then we simply plug in our numbers. And remember, if a molarity is increasing, our volume is gonna be decreasing. On the other hand, if our molarity is decreasing, our volume is going to be increasing. So you can use that just to do a sense check to make sure your answer makes sense before you test it to see if it's correct.